see what's going on. How y'all doing? Woo. So, sorry about that, guys. I just been doing the mommy stuff. Let me fix this camera. I like listening to music, um, especially music about love, about happiness. I like to keep my vibration up. Um, so. I'll put the link down below in my um, comments, I mean in the, the description box below, but um, yes, happy Sunday to everybody, happy Sunday, um, yes, um, My spirit is just so hype. Um, I hope y'all can feel my energy and I feel y'all's. Um, I just like this music, so give me a second. Plus, I'm trying to get prepared. I just finished washing clothes. And I was thinking about you guys. I was like, I gotta put up a video. It's been two weeks. Um, the last time we talked, I was going to Atlanta, and I had a blast for the truck gala. Um, I met a lot of interesting people. I was just so happy to just go on a trip. Um, before I get into it real quick, I want to say happy Sunday, happy love day, another day to be breathing, to... to, to keep your energy up another day to just be expecting great things to come your way um you know that's always a blessing to know that you have the power to choose how you feel each and every day and i encourage you guys to do that today even though it's raining and i love the rain the rain to me is like spiritual cleansing um, it relaxes my mind. It, it allows me to just focus on how the universe takes care of itself each and every day without any real human uh, interactions. Um, yeah, so oh, let me take a breath. Um, <laughs> I missed the past two Sundays because, oh, um, happy full moon and Pisces. Um, it started, I believe, on the 9th, kind of into the 10th, and it'll be going through into the 16th. I'm a Pisces, so shout out to all you Pisces out there. Um, even though I know we are in Virgo season, don't hate, just, just you know, giving love where love is due. And to all you Virgos out there, definitely shout out to you too. I wish all of you beautiful, happy, productive, abundant birthdays. Um, celebrate yourself even if nobody else is celebrating you. Right? Right. So, I went to Atlanta and I hadn't been to Atlanta in like ages. So, to go down there... I didn't know that they had like a train system and all that. Oh, and it's part of the airport and like just to get through. So I literally walked three and a half miles through the airport because they kept telling me to go to baggage, walk to baggage, walk to baggage, not get on the train and ride to this letter. I figured it out after the fact when I came back on my trip it was much easy, but the whole trip in general was amazing. Like. I just felt like, you know, God, the universe, my ancestors, they all could see that, like, I needed their help. And um, they're not going to let their precious child get lost out in Atlanta looking dumb. And so I put on my New York smarts and just, you know, went with my intuition. But the good thing is that I met a few people on the way, all men, actually. But they weren't, like, trying to hit on me or anything like, well, one, one did, but whatever um 
I embraced it. I embraced the moment. It was nice and kept it moving because my agenda was to go down there and, you know, show up for my business, Mood Truck and Dispatch and Services. And, you know, along the way, you never know who you're going to meet. But I met several different people that kind of was just like, hey, you going this way? I'm going that way. Let's go this way. You know, and they're just talking to me. I got to know who they were. They got to know who I was. I got to give them my business card. You know, just... I just embrace that moment because, you know, you could be like, yes, I'm going straight to the event and everybody in the event is the only person I want to talk to. But there's other people outside of that event that will come across and be drawn to you and just put in, you never know who knows who. So just giving them your information and, and you know, a business card has everything, right? Your email address, so on and so on. So, um... I don't want that to be too loud while I'm talking to y'all, but I just love that my I was on point with it and just it just came. It wasn't even like forced. It was just very organic. And I was just like so excited about it. So I had a good time. I posted some pictures on my Facebook. Y'all can go check me out on Facebook. I'll put my link below. Um but I had a good time. I got to meet a lot of people. I was recognized by my mentor, didn't even know it. And then on my way to the gala, it was raining, but off and on. So Atlanta rains off and on, just like New York. Um, and I was safe though. I had all white on, but I was safe inside the cab. And it stopped raining as soon as I got to the gala. But just riding there, me and the cab driver was talking, and again, another person, and he was just so interested in the dispatching service, he had a trucking service, and I was like, word? So I was just like, and I had to go through some stuff, like it was crazy trying to even get a cab, so I was late, but I was fashionably late, but not late enough to get recognized. So Spirit had me, God had me, my ancestors had me, and I made it back like the next day. I had jet lag, so I missed that Sunday to come and tell y'all about it because I needed to take out time for myself. I needed to realize that even with my kids, like sometimes mommy need a few minutes or the rest of the day, or I just don't feel like doing nothing because I need self-care. I work Monday through Friday, a regular job, and I work my business, and I work you know my ideas for this channel um along with helping other people in their situations right and being a mommy so i think my body was just like sit down now mind you a week later my youngest was starting second grade and i was super duper excited because she had a new principal and i just knew that this year would just be so much better i put that energy out there um, because she was being bullied last year and I was working with the school and the principal was retiring so people was just acting like they didn't care so I just reported everybody wrote everything up created a paper trail because if this come full circle again I got proof to back up that it hasn't just like just started but um, her confidence level is a, little, a lot better and they assured me that they knew about the situation from last year. The new principal was like, I have daughters. I know what it's like, you know, and I feel you, you know. You don't have anything to worry about your daughter feeling unsafe, and I will deal with him if he tries to bully her. And so, you know, she's been at school now for a week, and no issues. Like, even if it was an issue, it really wasn't an issue. So I'm really happy about that. The song. It's called Clover by Kamau, K-A-M-A-U-U, -U, I think. And I just love this song. When, when you talk about organic love, organic affection, everything he has in the video. I know I jumped off subject, but it was on and I can hear it in my left ear. Like, oh, this is my song. You know that song that you hear and you just feel like it's all about you. And you just feel the energy and the words and how it makes you feel. It's just an amazing feeling. But, um, yeah, guys. So, let's get with it. Um... I'm not staying too long because I got dinner to cook. Kids is going to be busting in my door in a few minutes talking about how they want something to eat. Um, and I'm just like, <laughs> y'all always eating. So, um, yes, we are presently in the middle of a full moon in Pisces and a retrograde. If you don't know what that is, I strongly recommend you go look it up it has a lot to do with karmic cycle endings and beginnings it has a lot to do i wrote stuff down because you're not 
if it ain't a password, it's what we're eating or ingredient or a phone number or a homework page that I have to keep up here to remember. So I write certain things down because I want to make sure I have everything that I want to go over with you guys. So bear with me if y'all see me looking down back and forth. But, um, yeah, so, you know... Over the past two weeks, I had a lot of lessons, a lot of downloads, but this retrograde and this full moon and Pisces, you know, Pisces is the last sign in the tarot. So it's like a lot of endings, new beginnings, you know, similar to like the death card in the tarot. But just even, just look at this year is about, it went by so fast. So we got like just a few more months before we enter in 2023, guys. So, you know, a lot of things are coming to the end. Things from the past, old conversations, people you don't longer talk to, whatever the case may be, they're going to be popping up. And, um, you know, you just, it's just about just learning from that experience, like, I'm not saying that sometimes people from your past that come back in, it's not meant to come back in your life. Maybe they are because it depends on the vibration that you're on at that moment. And if they're not, you'll quickly understand and know because your intuition is going to show you that. So, you know, if, if you feel like you're being led to resolve some conflicts within the family or friends or your loved ones or your, you know, spouse or, you know, old time friends, children, whatever, and it comes and the opportunity presents itself, all I ask is that you walk in love, walk with understanding, like love people from where they are because, you know, you don't want to affiliate with that person and at that moment that they're being led to your life and you're recognizing it you might have learned something on your journey of living in this life that could benefit them but because you're still stuck in the past instead of letting it die and just accepting and loving that person and letting them know you know what like what's the point in doing all the work in your vibration and growing and learning each and every day if you're still going to be stuck in the same energy you was back then and then wonder why things don't pan out in your life the way they're supposed to or the way you expect them to right so you know um I hate when I do that. Like you just lose a train. Oh, <laughs> you lose a train of thought. Um, so you know, it, this this is also a harvest moon. So there's a lot of abundance, whether it be spiritually, mentally, physically, elevating, aligning, spiritual awakening, finances, um, opportunities that come your way. All of that is a harvest. A harvest to allow you to receive something that will benefit your evolving in this world in your life purpose as you move forward and so um, that's my journey and I'm sure that's everyone's journey it's just a matter of you recognizing where you are in life and where you know you're supposed to be in life in other words you know that this ain't it this just can't just be this I'm satisfied with my life as far as I'm grateful and appreciative but I got I got stuff to do I have more things that I want to manifest I'm still here I was given another day to live I'm so grateful for that you know another day to be deliciously creative in life with my thoughts with my vibrations with experience and time with family and children and uh, dogs or neighbors or loved ones or strangers you know whatever it may be going places you know um so you know that's a lot of the things that i don't even have my glasses but we're gonna do the best we can because um i have 2020 vision i keep telling myself that <laughs> so um yeah um It's also about manifesting. Manifesting is considered harvest. Um, and I believe that during this week, I had an opportunity to come across something that I'm not really going to share because I don't want to share everything that pertains to me, but I will share things that come across my path and just so happened I did. I had two different stories, my own personal story and a story of me helping someone understand something in the situation that they was in. 
So just to keep everybody's names protected and I'm not violating anybody's privacy or identity, I have a friend of mine, let's call her April. April basically um, was invited to an event in an area that she didn't too much care for right that she used to be hanging around in the past and so she kind of avoided it for over 20 years right but she got invited to the event and the person who invited her was someone that was very close and dear and near to her heart so april decided you know what i'm gonna go despite how i feel about this place or this area or this geographical location i'm gonna go now mind you April has been manifesting, you know, affirmations and writing down what type of house that she wants. She's very interested in a certain particular house. And so she's been on her journey of learning a law of attraction, you know, and manifesting. And so she really believes that she's going to get this house. And, you know, I'm so proud of April that she believes that because if you don't believe it, it ain't going to never happen. That's rule number one right what's the point in doing all this work if you're going to say you know what i'm too scared to believe because i don't want to be disappointed well you want to be stuck then if you don't want to be disappointed then be st i'd rather be disappointed than be stuck because disappointment doesn't mean it's the end but being stuck means you ain't going nowhere okay so anyways april decided that you know she's going to go to this place this event and you know she's always thinking about her house Anytime she's driving or, you know, her, her me times, she's thinking about her house. And anytime she's going around about life, she might see stuff that resembles something similar to her house. Whether it be a, a picture or, um, you know, um, being around somebody's house or invited to someone's place or a movie that she's watching. Um, something she may see online that's being advertised, you know. And then the algorithm, anytime April Googles houses in a certain particular area and she starts searching certain particular houses, Google starts bringing up ads and so forth because of the algorithm. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. So, long story short, April goes to this event, and when she gets to the area that the event is in, she notices that there's really no parking. So, she's driving around, not into it, her vibration is high, and she's looking for parking. And as she's driving down the street, April comes across this house that looks exactly like what she's always wanted in an area that she does not too much care for, right? And April sees that this house is vacant and for sale. So, I mean, what would it take to just hop out your car and go look, right? Even if the doors are locked, just to touch it. Just to be like, am I dreaming? Because that's how real this house looked to her. And she's like, I can't believe I see my dream house in this neighborhood that I can't stand. But I really have this urge to go towards it. So, April gets out her car and she still hasn't found parking, but she has to go because the moment presented itself, right? April gets to the house and she's touching the house. She sees the door. It's a blue door. And she's just like, this is so amazing. So she walks around. She sees the bushes. and The groundsman hasn't really kept it up that well, but you see the potential. But the house, the outside of the house is amazing, right? But as April walks around towards the backyard, she's able to squeeze through. I know she's trespassing, but it's for sale, so, you know. She goes and she squeezes through and she can see the back needs a lot of work. And then she kind of can peek through the windows and see that there's a lot of work on the inside of the house that needs work. At that very moment, April says to herself, this is not what I wanted, even though it looked like it was what I wanted, right? I just, right? So April gets from the window, she gets and squeezes through the gate and gets out and goes walking back to her car. And on her way to walking back to her car, the disappointment has already settled in. The frustration, her whole vibration changed in an instant. Now, some of you might say, well, if she never went, 
her vibration would have not changed. That's not true. It would have. You ever see something or felt something or urge to do something and you don't do it and then you walk away from it, miss the opportunity and walk around, talk about shoulda, coulda, woulda. So your vibration still changed because now you kind of feel disappointed that you didn't go look and see or investigate or try all because you wasn't absolutely sure if, you know, it was something that you wanted to do, even though you've been talking about this is what I want or this is what it is, right? So... April gets back into her car and she's having a meltdown, a meltdown. You know why? Because she told herself, a part of her told herself from that experience that the universe is tricking her. It's playing tricks on her. It's, it's, it's teasing her. It's holding the carrot like, gosh, you know? And I was like, when she's telling me this story, I'm like, girl, right? But before I could say anything, she said, wait, don't say anything. Don't interrupt me. I'm, I got something else to say. And so I'm, I'm letting her finish. And she said, as she quieted herself and started to do her breathing and meditate, because she did learn some things that we cannot let our outside influences interfere with how we feel on a regular basis. You can't control what's on the outside of you, but you definitely control what's on the inside of you. And if you are the type of person that really loves peace and happiness and joy, then you have control over having that regardless of what happened on the outside of you. It's all how you look at things. And so she said when she became quiet after doing her breathing, just sitting near her car, she hadn't even thought about the parking or the event. She was still just trying to get herself back on alignment back on a positive vibration and how do you do that when all else fails you stop thinking stop talking stop looking and quiet your mind and that's what she did and I'm proud of her that she did that in the midst of her quieting her mind and getting an alignment she got this word that came out to her and said photographic right that's what she said to me because I think she didn't even know, she didn't even know, um, I think she, yeah, it was said, it's photographic. She was right, photographic. So it was photographic. And so she kind of knew what photographic was, but why would that word be coming to me, like now? So she went to look, you know, she asked herself and she just kind of just meditated on photographic, photographic. And she said, you know what, let me Google it. So she Googles photographic um, and she told me, and I want to look it up as well. Uh, photographic has three, oh, y'all going to bear with me because my glasses. <laughs> so um, it means to, it's relating to obtained by or used in photography. And so she said to herself, mm, I don't know what that has to do with my situation now. So the second, um, and the second definition was to um, something to do with nature and human beings with um, exactness of photography or photograph. So it's like the exactness of something. And then the last one was capable of retaining vivid impressions of a photographic memory. And it instantly hit April. When you visualize, when you meditate, when you speak the things in detail of what you are believing to manifest into your life, you have, as a creator, you have this photographic memory to be able to bring that thing to what you, what your thoughts are is what will manifest into your reality. Isn't that sound like a photographic memory? Right? And so... She said, well, okay, I get that, but why would you say photographic? Well, when we look at a photo 
or when we think of a memory, it reminds us in detail of exactly what it is we want. So a lot of times you wonder, well, you know, you, you know that the universe is working with you and always wants to see you succeed. You know that God wants you to go. And, and it's not that it doesn't know what you want. The process is you going through life, picking out, describing, creating, detailing to the specifics of what it is you want. Even when you cook, when you put on clothes, so forth and so forth, it's the same thing. And so when she saw this house, she felt like it was the universe telling her, is this what you like? It didn't mean that it was that exactly. It meant, are you talking about this? What about this? Go experience that moment of standing in front of your dream home, even though it's not exactly 100% what you want. Instead of getting off the vibration of looking at what you don't want, focus on what did happen and what you do want. So she did want to have that. She never stood in front of her dream home before. That was a chance to take a picture. That was a chance to manifest, okay, and enjoy it. So when you decide to do it that way, the universe goes, oh, she does like that. Well, she's also saying she wants this and she wants this and she wants this and she wants this. Never she she doesn't want that. Just she wants this, she wants this, she wants this. So her next experience will be better than her first experience, depending on how she responded to that experience. And so no, she can't do anything about it because the experience already happened. But now she understands that, like for you, for people who go shopping for clothes, when you go into a boutique and you go in there and you say, I'm looking for this and this and this and this and this, the lady comes out with a whole row full of different items that resemble to what you're describing. Then she goes through the hangers and she starts picking out you know, different things that resemble and you go, okay, yeah, I like it. Da, da, da. And the next thing you know, you wind up creating a whole new dress or a whole new outfit based off of the samples that were similar to what you was looking for. So I thought that was a really good um, lesson, golden nugget, opportunity that each and every day we go through life dreaming about the things we want and desire um but we miss the opportunities that come in because we're so focused on the things that we don't want when we see something kind of similar to what we do want instead of embracing that interaction that opportunity that moment that gets you close to see when you when you manifest and you start speaking and you st you know how you ever say something you be like yo i just was thinking about that person or i just said that and look it's right here it's because you was on high vibration and you said something and the, and the universe did everything it needed to do to show you as glimpses of keep doing what you doing the more you do it the more you exercise it the more you respond to it in a high vibration we're going to keep exchanging energy back and forth and eventually the very thing that you was desiring when you was procreating and writing things down and daydreaming and affirmations and speaking into existence and 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 feeling your way in it as if you already had it actually manifest into the physical even though you already knew it was yours when you was just speaking about it right so it was just just ways for the universe to check in with you to say is this what you're talking about is this what you're talking about and i don't think it's so much that the universe doesn't know it's you creating so you're calling certain things so you got to start with the foundation first her foundation was just seeing a house in a neighborhood it didn't matter what neighborhood it didn't matter what was on the inside all that mattered was that the very detail on the outside was very similar to what she was asking for and she's never had that experience experience before so when you come across those experiences that are new just go with the flow welcome it be excited because the more excited you are that you see in something just this little bit coming close to you just imagine the more you keep doing that how big it just manifests to every detail inside and out is manifested and is yours
Nobody's name is on it but yours. You ain't got to hurry up and try to figure it out. Just go with the flow and enjoy the process, right? So I thought that was a really wonderful um, experience that April went through. And then she shared it with me because it made me think about all the times that I did that. And I responded. Even like when you go out on dates and stuff and you meet someone that sounds good. And then you get with them and you see them. And, you know, it, it might start from physical. Like, wait, well, he didn't look like how his pictures said he looked. Or... My homegirl didn't or my homeboy didn't tell me all this. The first sign of something you see you don't want, that's all you're focused on. But what about the conversations? What about the fact that the person showed up on time? Enjoy that experience and and leave it at that. If, if they come to a point where they want to know or inquire, you know... As long as you keep on that vibration, if that person is not on your vibration, it's not much you have to do to, to get rid of them. Because you never know where it might go. They might even be the person that connects you to a person just by being with them that you meet that is on your vibration on all levels. That meet everything on your list. But you sh shun them away because you didn't know the process was just treating somebody with love and respect and enjoying a new opportunity stops you from getting to the other side of what it is you're looking for because you're so judgmental and quick to focus only on the things that this person or that opportunity is not bringing you. All you focused in on is, oh, it made it till I got to number five on my list. So no more encounters. No more, I'm walking away immediately. I'm out. I'm done. This was a trick. Do you do you see the vibration? Do you that doesn't even sound right? Like why does the universe need to trick you? So I'm a, I'm gonna have you come into this universe and then I'm gonna just trick you, please. Anyways, I hope that was a wonderful lesson for y'all to, to just get, and I hope y'all enjoyed the story. I would love to hear your comments below. I always come to y'all with stuff um, that I learn, and the only thing I know how to do is share. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that are on the same path as me and higher than me and, and lower than me. But we all need to, we can all learn each other's lessons. We can all learn from each other. And if you have something where you could see things in a different perspective to make life much easier and more rewardable, then, you know, why not share that, right? Especially if it works and it does work. It makes common sense, right? So you... What you think is what your reality is. And you can't apply that to yourself. You can't apply that to just your children and your house and your bills and your money and not apply it to everything else. You have to apply it all across the board because everything that matters to you is attracting what matters to you, if that makes sense. So, of course, y'all know I got the high five cards. Let's see what exercise we'll have for the week <clears throat> and what the universe would like for us to work on for the week keeping our vibrations high um, focusing only on the things that we desire and not the things we don't desire because the law of attraction works on both sides um, good and bad negative and positive it's the yin and the yang to our, our, our whole world um, and you know the one thing that you are is a high vibrational being that's what you were created to do high vibrational being comes into this universe creating and then we see it before our eyes in our communities in our family how many children you have how many schools does your children go to how many buildings did you work in how many houses did you live in somebody's thought pattern created that and said you know what this would be a great community this would be a great school to this would be a great uh spot for us to put this business to create um you know services and uh, provide jobs for people to work in our company and contribute as an asset so you can do that in your own world 
you know you don't want to work for other people no more here you go creating you don't want your children to go to that school no more let's get on discovery you know you never know what you'll come across but if you shine and keep focusing on things that you don't want and walk away from and you miss the whole opportunity and experience what you're telling the universe is i don't want that experience no more so let's get it let me cut the cards <clears throat> All right. Thank you, spirit ancestors, spirit guides, to guide us to what we're supposed to be working on this week. High vibes all day, every day. Let's go. <laughs> and it's perfect because I believe I'm making, I'm making the title of this video smile for the camera because it's photogenic right smile for the camera because it's photogenic can it can y'all see that smiles okay let's see what it says it says smile at someone look them in the eye and see an amazing human creation Miracles are everywhere in the form of you and every person you meet. Guys, I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. Every week, I come and give it to you guys raw on Miss Smooth Motivational Monday, okay? And I go through things to share with you guys, and these cards just come firm and back up what spirit is always telling me to speak and heal and advise and suggest and apply in my own life in my own life right so if you see someone show them that beautiful smile of yours look in the mirror first and smile at yourself okay because self-love is real you cannot project love to other people until you start learning how to love yourself. And the way you do that is when you look in the mirror, whether you butt naked or it's just a headshot, smile. Smile to show that you are pleased and well with who you are right now in this very moment. So... On that note, guys, I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Moves Motivational Monday. I wish y'all a beautiful, pleasant, prosperous, abundant week. And I don't care how or what is going on around you. Take a moment to smile. And smile to someone else so that they could feel that vibrational energy coming off on you. You never know what people are going through. So instead of judging them or checking them out, just give them a smile. Until next time, guys, love, peace, and happiness. Ashe. Bye.